Start by cutting the wires that connect the axle tube to the backer plate assembly. Then, strip off the ends of the old wires coming out of the axle beam, as well as the ends of the new wire being used to replace it. Be sure that 16 gauge wire is used for the replacement on this procedure. Once the ends of both sets of wires have been secured, electrical tape can be used to ensure that they stay together throughout the entire procedure of removing and replacing the axle beam wires. Ensure that the electrical tape is applied in a tight manner so that it's not too bulky as it gets pulled through the axle beam. On the opposite side of the beam, cut the wires in the same manner as previously done. Next, feed the new wire through the axle beam until it comes through on the other side. Once enough excess wire is coming out of the tube, cut off the old axle beam wiring. Be sure to replace the rubber grommet from the axle tube if it came out during this process. This will help keep the wires protected. Now it's time to reconnect the axle tube wires to the backer plate assembly wires. New connectors will be needed for this part of the process. Ensure that the wires are properly seated within the connectors as you go through this process. It's also important to ensure that the connector is clamped down so that all the wires have a proper connection. This will reduce possible electrical concerns upon the replacement of these wires. On the opposite end of the axle tube, repeat this process using the same method to connect the axle tube wires to the backer plate assembly wires.